Hey everyone, my name is Miguel Neves and I am the Editor-in-Chief of Event MB. Uh, delighted to be with you. Uh, if you're watching this live, I am recording this live. If not, then uh, hopefully you will enjoy catching up on all the things that I'm going to mention. So this is my weekly recap of everything that we've been focusing on here at Event MB, and I hope you find it interesting. I'm going to try a slightly different format today with some visuals, so hopefully it'll be useful for you and it'll be easy. But everything I'm mentioning is in the description below. If you're on uh, LinkedIn or Facebook or on YouTube, if you're on Twitter, I'll tweet all the things that I mentioned later on, so I'll, I'll connect them with this tweet. So hopefully that'll be useful for you as well. But we've been looking at a variety of things this week. Uh, first of all, we looked at the uh, event tech company Bevy uh, that uh, prioritized diversity, equity, and inclusion in their funding round. They had a, a, a round of funding that was a majority, I think 70%, uh, driven by uh, black investors. And they contributed around 20% of the total fund. But really interesting how they've really prioritized uh, the black community uh, in this round of funding. And they're also doing a lot of things internally to have more diversity and inclusion and equity within the company. So interesting read. Have a look at that. I think you'll find it really interesting. And it's a very important topic, of course. Um, we also had a sponsored email go out from All Seated regarding Expo. So have a look at that. If you haven't seen that, uh, check out your, your email inboxes or go over to All Seated. The link is also below. Um, I wrote an article about the role that event apps may play in keeping events safe in terms of COVID. Um, it's it's a bit of an interesting topic because there's not there aren't really no event apps in the normal way that we look at event apps that have uh, brought in um, COVID features into the event app. So we're really talking about other mobile applications. Uh, that provide sort of COVID passports or vaccination passports or different ways of kind of securing safe access to events, which is a fascinating feature. And I think as we go towards, as we start really having in-person events, um, they're really important. And it's really important to make sure that we understand how they work and how they, they can really help us uh, with getting the events right. Um, so really interesting topic there. If, if you're in, you know, I, I would guess that you're interested in, um, you know, moving forward with in-person events. I think if you're a reader of event MB, but make sure you have a look at that article. I think it's really, really important that we all understand that. Uh, we released that on Wednesday, and also Wednesday we had uh, my first kind of large event for event MB, which I'm really proud of. We ran the event at Bible, uh, Ask the Experts, a three-hour event where we covered all angles of event apps. We started with actually talking about vaccine passports uh, and that sort of angle. We had sponsored talks from uh, Pierre Metrailler from Spot Me about year-round engagement. We had another sponsored talk from Michael Buckley from Cadence uh, about the personalization of event apps. We also heard from people like Samuel J. Smith and... Uh, Taylor Estes, we heard from Brent Kruger, from Dahlia Elgazar. We had one of our uh, regular writers, Angela Tupper, join us to talk about recovery and vaccinations and what that all means. And we also had a client panel with Tess Vismail and also Abby Cannons. So it was a full event with lots of different experts. We hope that we got it right, that we got the right number of experts there for you. It's all available for free for you to watch on demand. So make sure you go to our website and register to watch that. Uh, it is worth your while, uh, and especially if you can watch it on demand, you can really skip to any bits that you find exciting and interesting. Uh, and there's also a way to uh, download the Event MB app, uh, which is in the App Store, iOS only for now, I'm afraid. But you can watch on demand on the app as well. And of course, that whole event was based on the Event App Bible Report, the latest edition, the ninth edition, actually, uh, where we analyze 86 event apps. We look at 13, 13 different areas of app comparison. And within those areas, there's multiple questions. So you really get a good feeling for what any of these apps can do for your event or if they're really appropriate for your event. And we also hear for set from seven different industry experts about their opinions. I'm just going to make this large on the screen so you can see the the uh, the link there, eventmanagerblock.com backslash event dash app dash Bible. If you wanted to have, if you don't have that yet, please go and download that. It is really worth your while. So make sure you don't miss out on that. And yeah, all these events are below. Mary, if you're watching live. Just look below in the post, and they should all be there for you already. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that just yesterday, we announced our next webinar. Uh, this is something that we're doing in partnership with EventMobi. And it's called The Secret to Successful Attendee Retention uh, Year-Round Engagement. I'm really looking forward to this. I'll be interviewing uh, EventMobi CEO Bob Vase about this idea of attendee retention and year-round engagement. Very hot topic. Uh, we're hoping that we can um, achieve this or that we find the strategy and the right tactics and the right way to really tap into communities so that we can achieve this year-round engagement. We've been talking about year-round engagement in event technology for a long time. Uh, and I think it may be possible now with the pandemic to really do it in practice. So I'm always curious to understand how we do that and how the tools can help, but also the strategies behind that. So really looking forward to that session. Um, and I wanted to share something with you that you may not have noticed, but we had some updates on the EventMB website. And so I wanted to point out just a few things. We're trying to make the navigation easier for you. Uh, so I'm going to bring that up actually bigger on the screen so maybe you can see it better. Uh, we've really tried to simplify the navigation so that you can find everything faster and more direct. Um, you see events coming up. So the first tab you see at the top in the menu is events. Uh, so click on that for all webinars or all larger events that we do. Um, hopefully, you'll find something interesting. Remember, you can register for anything that you've missed in the past and watch on demand. So everything is listed there. I'm sure you'll find some great content of interest. Um, reports, so things like the event at Bible, things like the virtual event tech guide, anything in the past and also in the future will be there. So click on that to head to see reports. Reviews, we also do a lot of reviews of different event technologies. So click on that to see all the latest reviews. And they're in chronological order, so you'll see the latest ones that we've done. I think we did one of Evia last week, so that'll be the first one that you see. And then for anything else, just click that Explore tab, and you can see it's just open in that graphic. You'll see event planning, event technology, and event inspiration. Those are our sort of top topics. And we also have direct links to two posts that are really, really important for us, which are virtual event ideas, because I know a lot of people are always looking for new ideas for virtual events, how to really make their virtual events stand out. And then the virtual platforms link, where we list as many platforms as we can. We're always finding new ones, so we do our best to keep that updated. But that's where you'll find that post. And last but definitely not least, two very important things in the top right-hand right corner, the subscribe button. I urge you to subscribe to our emails and subscribe to our newsletters. Uh, we try not to spam you. We try to only send you things of interest. There may be a lot of emails, so do select the frequency that you want to receive those. We have both a daily option, where you get sent every day when we publish something. Nothing gets sent out if we don't publish anything. But when we do publish that day, we send out an email with the articles of that day. Um, and also, you can choose a weekly email where you get a summary of everything that we've published. So do please subscribe. Uh, it's free. Uh, there is no cost. And I think that the uh, articles that we write provide a lot of value. So hopefully, you find that as well. And that, don't forget that little uh, magnifying glass, that search button. Very important if you're looking for a particular platform, if you're looking for a solution, if you're just researching a person or a brand, just search. The search works really well on the Event MB site. So have a quick look there, search on there, and hopefully you'll find interesting things. So I urge you to have a look at that search function whenever you're looking for a solution for any issue. So that is what I have time for. I hope you found that useful. That was my weekly recap. And I also wanted to quickly give you a preview of what's coming up next week that I think also you'll find interesting. I don't want to give too much away because, of course, we're still working on a lot of these things. But I wanted to share with you that we're looking at e-gaming next week. We're looking at swap cards research on lead generation, which you found really interesting. So we're going to do analyze it and pick out the best bits or the bits that we found the most interesting. We're also looking at AI and how that can really work for events. AI is this uh, term that's been thrown around a lot for the last few years. And uh, there is some argument whether uh, some of the technology that's being used is actually true AI or where that gets us and how do we develop that better. So hopefully you'll find that interesting. That's an article we're working on right now. And of course, we're keeping an eye out on all the test events that are happening. There was just one a couple days ago in the Netherlands and one yesterday as well in the UK in Liverpool. So we're keeping an eye out on all these test events and really trying to understand uh, how they help us meet in person in the near future. There may also be some earnings calls coming up next week, so we're keeping an eye out on that as well. And that's it. 
Everything that I've spoken about is on the EventMB website, www.eventmb.com. Please head over there if you have any questions. I am Miguel Nevsch, the editor-in-chief of EventMB, and thank you for watching.